Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be my candle collection. I did want to just go ahead and do a collection video before SAS so you guys can kind of see where I'm at. You know, we're halfway through the year. I think I did a candle collection video at the beginning of the year, so this is like six months difference just be able to see like what I have. I'm gonna set them all out of my bed, but before I do that, I wanted to show you how I store them all. So let's go ahead and go to my nightstand where I store all of my candles. Okay, so this is my nightstand, nothing fancy. Um, this is what it looks like. I have the pillows off on the side of my bed because I'm currently actually wash washing the sheets, so don't mind that, but I usually will have a candle up here in this little holder. So I have iced blueberry biscotti at the top right here. Um, and then the candles that I'm working on are in this top shelf. And then I just have like random stuff. Um, but I also have like my lighter and my wick trimmer. And then um, in the middle drawer, I'll have other candles that I'm not really working on right now, but that's only one so far. And then I have some little, you know, um, tea light candles for my warmer in my bathroom. And then the bottom drawer is my seasonal candles. So the ones that I'm planning on, um, sorry, it keeps going in and out of focus. The ones that I'm planning on saving until fall slash winter, I leave down here and I just don't really touch them. So I'm gonna get all these out of the dresser and then we will have them on the bed. And then I did also wanna show you guys, I have this drawer and it is full of the things that I want to exchange coming up. So I have four full size candles and one single wick. So I'll bring these to the bed as well. But this is like my exchange drawer. I keep all the receipts on the side and yeah, this stuff is ready to be exchanged. Okay, so here is everything laid out on my bed. So I have 16 total three wick candles um, and I'm including these big giant Goose Creek ones as three wicks. And then I have one, two, three, four single wick candles. So I split these up a bit so that way they'd be a little bit more, like they'd make more sense. So this bottom row is all the exchange ones that I wanna exchange in the future. This row is all the ones that I'm currently using, and then this row and up is stuff that I'm saving for fall slash winter. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm gonna start down here. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm holding it on a tripod, but um, we have chocolate grams. I am thinking of exchanging this one because I literally could not smell it at all. Um, I think I'm gonna save it for something in the fall, but maybe if I find something at SAS, then I'll do that. I have salted caramel. I just kinda, it was overwhelming for me and it's not my favorite scent. Um, and then I have cinnamon Irish cream. I'm still, the jury is still out on this one if I wanna exchange it or not, um, because I do kinda like it and I might wanna save it for fall, but we'll just have to see if something in the fall comes out that interests me more than this, then I'll exchange. Um, and then we have the perfect Christmas. I really realized that I don't like, like Christmas tree kind of scent, so I'm definitely gonna exchange this one. It was not my favorite. Um, and then frosted cranberry, I still don't know if I'm gonna exchange this or not, if I find a single wick that I want like before the Christmas time comes back around, then I'll exchange it. But if not, then I'll just keep it till next Christmas. Um, Cause I feel like it's a good candle, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't end up using it around winter time. And I feel like it's more appropriate for that time. So those are the five candles that I have that I can exchange. Now let's move on to the ones that I'm actually using right now. First I have whipped coffee. This is basically white caramel cold brew if you guys didn't know, and that's one of my favorite candles. Um, I have to be in the mood to burn this, but when I am, it's like absolutely beautiful and I love it so much. I'm not really working on finishing this up, I just am currently using it. And then lemon cake pop, I am actually working on finishing up. You can see right here, it's about a little less than halfway. Uh, really good. I um, actually had this one going last night in my room and it smelled amazing, so that one's really nice. I have sugared snickerdoodle, which I'm currently burning as well, trying to finish this off. I have laundry day, which I actually just picked up at my outlet store. And let me know if you guys have this experience too, but it kind of smells like kerosene. I don't know if it's maybe just this one candle that I got or if all laundry days smell like that, but I used to have a pomegranate lemonade candle that also smelled like kerosene when I burned it. So let me know if you guys have that problem with laundry day. I know there's a lot of people that say it's amazing, but I think maybe I got a bad candle or maybe that's how it's supposed to smell. I don't know. So that one I'm kind of considering including in this exchange pile. Mm, we'll see. Um, and then I have pumpkin donut shop. If you guys don't know, this is one of my favorite all time scents. Um, I had this in the fall and then I bought a second one uh, about a few months ago actually off of eBay or maybe it was, was it eBay? 
Or maybe it was Poshmark. Sorry, it was Poshmark. It just smells so good. It's literally like powdered sugar donuts. It smells amazing. And then Tis the Season I'm actually using right now in the bathroom. It's literally just like a red apple scent. So I don't think it's like weird to burn this time of year. Um, but it's a really nice fresh scent for the bathroom. So I'm currently using that. And then we have all the stuff that I'm saving for fall and winter. So I'll start on the left side. So I have leaves right here. This is actually probably the oldest candle in my collection. Let's see what year it is from. Um, oh, here we go. 2019. Okay, sorry. So also, if you guys didn't know, you can see the year that your candle is from from this barcode. Not the one down here, but this one up here. So it has a nine at the beginning, so it's from 2019. Um, it's the oldest candle that I have, but it's so strong that I I barely can burn it for long during the fall, but it's a really good one. And then um, Champagne Apple and Honey, oh my goodness. This was an online exclusive last year. I haven't been showing the scent notes, I'm sorry about that. Um, but it it's amazing. I burned it so much I was like I, sh I really should have picked up a second one of this because I could have burned through it but I stopped myself because it's so amazing and like the lid is just gorgeous with that golden sunflower lid. Oh, this was absolutely amazing. And then we have Love Every Bunny Sweet Carrot Cake. Everybody raved about this one. I agree, it's amazing. However, it is so spicy and like butter creamy that I am going to wait for fall to burn this because I feel like it'd be absolutely amazing when it's a little bit chilly outside and i'm in the fall mood so i'm gonna save this one for fall um i just can't do the buttercream right now it kind of makes me sick so saving it for fall but definitely agree that this is a really good scent and then i have butter rum eggnog which was also an online exclusive i got this last year during candle day i don't know if i love it yet um i only burned it once but i'm saving it for christmas again and we'll see. I, I The jury's still out on this one as well. Let me know what you guys think of this scent. I think it's like almost a little too sweet for me. But we're saving it until Christmas anyways. And then I have a DW Homes um, Single Wick in Peppermint Bark. I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like. It smells exactly like Peppermint Bark. Like if you bought it from the store, that's exactly what it smells like. It's amazing. It's really good. Definitely recommend DW Homes candles. I found these. I think this is from TJ Maxx. Oh, Marshall's $7.99. Yeah, they have a lot of DW Homes candles at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and then I have this Autumn Single Wick that I got last year, um, and I burned through it a little bit. But this is another one that's like super, super strong, so I'm saving it for fall. And then I have these two from Goose Creek. So this one is Toasty Pumpkin Toddy, which is basically like a I don't know how to explain it, but like a pumpkin cider. Pumpkin apple cider kind of smells really good. It was amazing during fall time. I just didn't get through it this past year. And then we have pumpkin pie, which is also amazing. I burnt this last year on Thanksgiving. It was so yummy. It definitely smells like pumpkin pie. On cold, it smells kind of odd, but when it's burning, it is amazing. I'm so excited to have these for the fall time and to get through them. I am a little worried about them being super sooty, but if they get super sooty, then I'll just stick them on my um, candle warmer, which reminds me, the last candle that I have to show you guys is actually already on the warmer. Let's go over there. Okay, so this is the last candle. This is a candle crock from Amazon. I'll list it down below in the, like, the um, description, but this candle, is a Yankee Candle Home Classics in Vanilla Chai, and I got this from TJ Maxx for $9.99. I think I got this last, maybe like July or August, like right before all the fall candles were actually coming out because I was missing fall, and this one performs really well on the warmer, but it does not perform, it was like a single wick, it does not perform well burning, so, but it was really, really good on the warmer. It fills up my entire room. And then I'm bad. I forgot to bring out Ice Blueberry Biscotti from my candle holder. So um, here's Ice Blueberry Biscotti. I'm also working on finishing this up right now. You can tell where it's at, like halfway almost. So yummy. Smells basically like blueberry pie, but a little more tart. Um, here are the scent notes. If you guys find this at SAS, definitely get it. Um, I wonder if they're coming back with blueberry pie soon because it's amazing and we need it back. But this is a good thing to like hold you over until they bring that back. But yeah, there's those three. I do have those three from this collection. Okay, so that's everything for my candle collection. They're all sitting right here, so I'll put them up um, later. But that's everything. I have 21 candles, which is a really good um, size in my opinion because I really only have a few that I'm actually currently using and then some that I'm saving for fall. 
and winter. So I feel like it's at a really good point. I started, I think, the year around 40 candles in my collection, so I've decreased it by half. Um, if you guys don't know, I do also do a candle project pan called a Project Wax, um, where I was trying to get through my collection, and I'm still kind of doing that, but it definitely helped me lower my collection, and I was basically doing a no-buy for a few months. Um, the last couple of months I've been doing a no-buy, and then I was doing a low-buy for the rest of the year, so... I've been pretty good with candle buying, but I do plan on getting a few at SAS. I'm definitely looking for some. I have my SAS wish list that I'll link up above that you guys can view and see which ones I had on there. I honestly can't remember exactly. I think I have a strawberry pound cake, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down below and comment and comment how many candles you have in your collection because I'm very curious. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot less than me and a lot of people have a lot more than me and I think it's totally fine. Whatever you want to do, do it. You know, it's your money. Why, why does it matter what other people think? Anyways, so that was this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.